Previously on Squad Car 22, Officer Steins and Holloway safely parachuted to the middle of the Great Salt Lake Desert. Meanwhile, the plane they were on crashed into a petting zoo, killing all the passengers, the two flight attendants, and a pony named Cherub. Man, it's dark out here. Which way do you think we should go? I think our best bet is going in the direction of those lights over there. That's funny. I was thinking we'd be better off walking in the opposite direction, towards that dark cave. We could. But the lights are probably a gas station. They might have a payphone. True. Or it's a food truck... And there's ladies wearing bikinis serving tacos. That's very specific. I can't wait to get my hands on a chicken chalupa. Do you think the girls will be on roller skates? I think we'll be lucky if they have a vending machine. There sure are a lot of cars parked around here. I'm counting three Land Rovers, two Mercedes, and a Beamer. Yeah, but I don't see a gas station attendant. He's probably around back taking a break. Why don't you have a look while I take a leak? What are you doing? I need to go too. Why are you always in the bathroom at the same time as I am? What's the big deal? There's two stalls and a toilet. Plenty of room for everyone. Oh yeah, that feels good. Aren't you uh, gonna go? Um, I think I'll wait until you're done. Don't be bashful, pull up a stall. I won't peek. If you must know, I'm gonna go number two, and I like a little privacy. I'm sure I've smelled worse. Would you stop talking to me while you're peeing? What? Did I say something? It's just weird. Well, excuse me. Do you mind if I flush, or is that weird? Just hurry up and clear the room. Oh shit, what did you do? All I did was flush. Are we in an earthquake? I think it's some sort of elevator. A bathroom elevator? I bet it goes all the way underground to a secret military base. Flush it again. Maybe we'll go back up. That's a no-go. We're just gonna have to wait till we hit bottom. So... What's our story? I don't know. Maybe the truth? We walked into the wrong bathroom? They're gonna wipe our minds for sure. Wipe our minds? They're not gonna let us walk out of here knowing where their top secret base is. Dude, relax. It's like the middle of the night on a Friday. I bet the place is empty. I sure hope so. Wow, it's kind of nice down here. Not what I was expecting at all. Does that smell like incense to you? There's a sign over that archway. Let's see. Super secret synagogue. What? An underground Jewish bunker? Dude, we've got to get out of here right now. Jews are all part of a secret cult called the tribe. What are you talking about? I bet they have piles of pastrami and potato pancakes. Don't be so naive. We can't go in there. They'll drain our blood and sell it to the highest bidder. I think you've been spending too much time reading conspiracy theories. All I know is they have a machine called, um, uh, 
a jew o that can suck your blood out in 30 seconds. Oh, come on. They created the tuna melt. The tuna melt? Anyone who can make a sandwich with fish and cheese is all right in my book. Ah, oh, I thought I heard some latecomers. Welcome to the super secret synagogue. There's yarmulke and talat over there. Just put one on and come inside for our Shabbat party. Looky here. They got little hats and scarves. So thoughtful. I'm sure it gets chilly being this far down. What did you say your names were? Um, uh, I'm, I'm Steins. Oh, Steins. Well, that's a good Jewish name. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Steins. I'm Rabbi Rebecca. A female rabbi? Oh, yeah, we're very forward-thinking around here. And what's your name? Who? Me? Um, I'm Holloway? Hmm. You know, that doesn't sound very Jewish. It doesn't? We keep a list of all the Jews, and I don't recall ever seeing a Holloway on it. You keep a list? Mm-hmm. Well, he's, he's a friend of the tribe. No, oh, a friend of the tribe. I see. Well, if you vouch for him, I guess he can come in. We're all friends here. This is my husband, Harry. Yeah, good to meet you. Are you married? Tell me you're not married. I love playing matchmaker, but it's so hard to find good Jewish boys out here in the desert. Sorry, I've got a wife and uh, six kids. Six beautiful, lovely kids who really need me. Oh, that's too bad. You see Esther standing over there by herself? The girl wearing the bearskin hat? She's a duel, but we just can't find her a husband. I'm single. So, no matchmaking tonight. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. These matzah crackers are pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. I like putting a slice of pickled egg on top. Really hits the spot. Hey, Shlomo. The boy's glasses are dry. Bring over the Manischewitz. Thanks, but I think we've had enough wine. Oh, come on. It's just a little vino. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you boys end up in uh, Utah? I was born here. Ah, what you? Born in Utah? How interesting. I guess I never left because I like the idea of having a big family out in the country. Well, you know what they say about Utah, huh? Three times the wives means three times the fight. No, him! <laughs> Grown up on Long Island, I thought I'd seen everything. But I've been to some parties out here that were in full swing, if you know what I mean. Harry, please. If you keep going good like that, the boys are going to think we're pervs. <laughs> no, no, no. Do, do you mind if I use the restroom? See, you're scaring him away. It's down the hall. First door on the left. Hey, Shlomo. Can you bring me some more of those kosher crab cakes? Hmm. I wonder what's making that mechanical sound. I bet it's coming from that room at the end of the hall with the eerie green glow. Preparing for launch silo. It looks like they have about 20 automatic rifles hanging on the wall. I guess they really like hunting. Hmm. This machine in the middle of the room looks pretty serious. I hope it's not a jewel matic 
Nah, kid, we haven't used those in years. This is a satellite launching silo. Sorry, I'm probably not supposed to be in here. I'll just go on my way. Ah, don't be silly. You're a member of the tribe. We trust you. Well, it all looks pretty fancy. What's what's the plan? Are you trying to steal Cinemax or something? Nothing as nefarious as that. It just has a little blue space laser. Very handy. You can start a barbecue with it, make s'mores, blow up Berlin. Wait, what was that last one? What are you, what are you doing? Get your hands off me. Go easy on him, Shlomo. We need his fingers to work. What is all this? I was just telling Styles here that we're launching a satellite with a blue space laser so we can uh, get revenge on Germany. That doesn't sound very kosher. Don't worry. I blessed all the parts they used to build the laser. We would never send a non-kosher satellite into space. Well, okay. Good luck with that. We should probably be heading out. Yeah, it's a long way to Salt Lake. We really need to get on the road. Ah, Of course you're free to go. No one's stopping you. But... Before you leave, we were hoping you could uh, do us a little favor. What do you have in mind? Our scientists have calculated that the best time to launch our satellite is tonight. However, that puts us a bit in a pickle. Since it's your bots, none of us can push the red button. You want me to launch a space laser into space? Oh, of course not. We would never ask you. But your friend here, well, he's not a Jew. So we were thinking he could serve as our Shabbos Goy. You want Holloway to send a little blue space laser into space to blow up the Germans. Come on, Holloway. Be a mensch. Help us out. I'm sorry, I don't think I can help with mass genocide. Shlomo, fetch me my bris, kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we should talk this over? You know, a bris can be very painful when you're an adult. Um, maybe mass genocide isn't so bad. I mean, we're talking about my penis here, right? Holloway, don't do it. What button did you want me to push? The little red one over there. Launch has been initiated. The satellite has been deployed. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! You've done us a great service. The laser should be ready to use. By tomorrow morning. Man, that's the third truck that hasn't stopped. I'm starting to think truckers don't like picking up guys wearing little hats. Anti-Semitic truckers in Utah? Who would have thought? I still can't believe you launched that satellite. Germany's in for a surprise. Don't worry. Right before I pushed the launch button, I changed the laser's coordinates. Good going. Where'd you aim it at? Ah, just some little island in the middle of the Pacific. I doubt anyone lives out there. Middle of the Pacific? Yeah, yeah. I think it was called Hawaii. How? How? Hawaii? How are we? Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. Attack of secret Jewish space laser averted. Next stop, bikini taco truck. Chicken chalupa's on me.